It seems that T-Rex is always in the news. It's always been in popular media, it's always been in books, it's always been in movies. And over the last couple years, again, again that name has been making the loop as far as headlines and articles. From the famous 2022 study that tried to divide T-Rex into three individual species, which I believe at this point in time turned out to be not true, to now here we are again with a new animal, Tyrannosaurus macrensis. Have you heard of it? Had you heard of it before? Now, this is believed to be an uncle of T. rex, if this in fact turns out to be true. And it's a new giant theropod, and it's a species of tyrannosaur from the south of North America. So that's really important to remember. From North America, from the southern part of North America. Now, it comes from the Hall Lake Formation, and this proposed new animal, Tyrannosaurus macrensis, is believed to be about five to seven million years older than T. rex. Hence, that idea that this could be some type of family relationship to T-Rex, meaning that this may have been an uncle to T-Rex. Now, when this was first announced, it was believed and proposed that this new species, Tyrannosaurus macrensis, may have lived with some giant sauropods such as Alamosaurus, and that really got people excited. I remember seeing one comment online where somebody wrote, a T-Rex that's living the giga sauropod hunting lifestyle in North America. Now, it does not appear at this time that this new animal lived with Alamosaurus. Again, we'll have to wait and see if this is true. But what is known about it is that it evolved bone crunching jaws to take on armored prey like Ceratopsians. Now, Tyrannosaurus macrensis would have been an uncle. We stated that. So it, it has that family relationship. And it evolved in the south before dispersing into the north and possibly even crossing land bridges into Asia. So to me, that's really interesting, the, the possibility that this animal evolved in the south, migrated up to the north, eventually that became T-Rex in the north, and if it did in fact cross these land bridges into Asia, that would have become Tarbosaurus and Zhushang Tyrannus. So really kind of fascinating if you think about the evolution of these animals branching off into different corners of the world, Asia, North America, and evolving down in the south. Now, this animal is believed to be a giant nonetheless. Again, only fragmentary remains, but estimates put it at around nine to 10 tons. And if this in fact turns out to be true, then what you can definitely state is this was one of the largest theropod dinosaurs to ever exist this would be one of the largest terrestrial predators to ever exist. So this is a whopper of an animal. I'm really going to be curious in the coming months and years to see, is this going to turn out to be true? Is Tyrannosaurus macrensis, in fact, its own new species of dinosaur? Which brings us to the most important part of the video, your comments. Love to hear them in the comments section down below. Have you heard of Tyrannosaurus macrensis? And if so, do you think it will in fact turn out to be a new species entirely. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.